I'm going to try something different. I'm going to, uh, let's see, how do I do this? I want to look at the bottom of the boat. Let's see how this works. All right, all right, that works pretty good. And where did, where did Dr. Allen go? Dr. Allen now. <laughs> With oars and an umbrella and a motor. <laughs> I feel a little bit like an astronaut with all the equipment surrounding me. But I see lots of corals down there. Clarity is really good. And there's Dr. Allen. This is, this is uh, the good ship, Barbie's World. We're out in the middle of the ocean now. Uh, Allen is doing a little coral reef research. Uh, I'm trying to sit under an umbrella, but when the boat moves around, <laughs> then I wind up in the sun. But uh, this is our little invention. The uh, umbrella centerboard is what we call it. And of course, we have Ken with us, our four horsepower motor. And now we're going to go down into the water. Hopefully headed back to the boat. I don't want to be in a wind. <laughs> this is really awesome because uh, the boat, uh, on this side, you have the waves. And so um, even though the water is clear, you don't see clear. But over here, um, there's no waves because the boat is blocking it. And it's almost like looking through glass down at the coral. And, and the coral is just gorgeous. This is really nice. And Dr. Allen is just like a fish out there, enjoying himself. And there he is. The world famous whatever. <laughs> is it good? The water is very clear. Yes. You know, on this side, there's no waves and it's almost like I'm in a glass bottom boat. Yeah. Okay, can I come up? You can try to come up. It's very difficult, eh? No. Boy, if I wasn't sitting over here, this boat would have tipped over. You okay? Yeah. We need a, a rudder and a centerboard to stabilize the boat. After seeing Dr. Allen try to get back into the boat, um, one thing is clear. Uh, the rudder and the centerboard, both of which are missing, uh, provide stabilization when, you're, when the boat is tipping. But without a rudder and a centerboard, uh, this boat is very tippy. And I'm a little concerned if two people are in the water, there has to be a counterbalance or the boat's going to tip over. <laughs> 